Biden versus Trump in the 2024 election showdown. But everyone is wondering, will there be debates this time? I don't know if you're going to debate your uh, your opponent. I am somewhere. I don't know when. I, I'm happy to debate him. He can do it anytime he wants, including tonight. I'm ready. Here we are. I invited him to the courthouse that he has us tied up in. We're willing to do it Monday night, Tuesday night, Wednesday night, Thursday night, or Friday night on national television. We're ready. Just tell me where. Uh, we'll do it at the White House. That would be very comfortable, actually. Here to react is Fox News contributor Joe Concha. Joe, good morning. What do you think about this? I think, what are you doing here? We usually talk on Monday or Wednesday or Friday. You work weekends as well. The hardest part in your own show business. So that, that, that's good to see. You're sweet. But to answer your question, uh, this will be very telling because Donald Trump wants to debate Joe Biden, as he said, like now, you know, or tonight at the White House. Doesn't matter. And I can guarantee you the White House will never, ever agree to doing any debates anytime soon. In, in fact, I'm willing to bet that Joe Biden's handlers, Carly, uh, at the White House, did not expect him to say during that utterly fawning, insufferable interview conducted by Howard Stern that he was going to debate. So that was the one big news item that came out of that otherwise forgetful interview. And you just have to wonder, when we get to September or October, will Joe Biden be on that debate stage where he doesn't have his words scripted for him, where he doesn't have the aid of a teleprompter and has to stand up there for 90 minutes taking questions on his record when it comes to inflation or the economy or crime or the border, immigration, foreign policy? Very interesting, but I don't think, again, Donald Trump wants to debate tonight. Uh, we're not going to see that at least for six months, if at all, Carly. Okay, so Joe, we also want to ask you about this uh, New York Post report out about how there was essentially a, a failed coup attempt against uh, Karine Jean-Pierre at the White House. Apparently, uh, White House officials tried to get her to leave her job. They were trying to convince her uh, in some sort of secret way to, to push her out. And one source told The Post, officials were trying to find Karine a graceful exit. There's a huge diversity issue, and they're afraid of what folks are going to say. Karine doesn't have an understanding of the issues, and she reads the binder word for word, but she thinks she's doing an amazing job. So apparently, according to The Post, Jeff Zients and Anita Dunn were behind this. The White House responded, saying this is all nonsense. What do you think? Well, quoting one of the stories in that New York Post story, uh, she does not have an understanding of the issues, and she reads, and this is the quote part, she reads the book, the binder, word for word, unquote. Anybody objective, and even if you just ask a Democrat privately, and you say, do you think that Karine Jean-Pierre is good at her job as White House press secretary? I can't see anybody, again, the objective ones, who would say that she is actually capable in her job. Say what you will about Jen Psaki, who was utterly pious, condescending, dishonest, but at least she could think on her feet. Karine Jean-Pierre, uh, Jesse Waters always refers to it, calls her the binder because she always has to go to words that are written for her in that binder. And it begs the question, Carly, is there anything about the Biden administration that isn't scripted? So it's very clear that Jean, Jean Crump, uh, Jean-Pierre, uh, Karine Jean-Pierre, excuse me, and I'm fighting a cold, uh, <laughs> was hired primarily for her sexual orientation, for her race and her gender. And that's what's keeping her in this job. Now, John Kirby should be doing that job on a daily basis. But uh, this is uh, clearly a job that was awarded uh, not based on performance, but based on merit. We see it every day. And it's, it's sad to watch, quite frankly. Yeah. Well, Joe, you talked about me working the weekend. You're also working the weekend because you're going to be on the big Saturday show tonight. Jason Chaffetz, Anita Vogel, Nicole Sapphire. And Joe Concha is the lineup, the big lineup for the big weekend show tonight, 7 p.m. Eastern Time, Must See TV. Joe, thank you so much for joining us. Great talking to you as always. Have a great day. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilme. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.